Welcome to today's developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. This is a very exciting one because on March 32nd, 2017, we introduced Link as 25th hero to Overwatch. And we really didn't know what the reception was gonna be like. And it was absolutely amazing. And we are so fortunate here at Blizzard that so many of you came along for the ride and not only played and Link, but fell in love with them like we fell in love with them. And today, after three years of development, the Triforce Shield is finally complete. So, in order to celebrate this special occasion, next time you log into the game, you'll get a loot box that is incredibly special this time. And the reason it's so special is because you will get a guaranteed common item out of this loot box that you don't already have. Now, let's talk about Hero 31, Ganondorf. He is a Gerudo who are a race that consists of only women and Ganondorf is the first male Gerudo ever to be born. So therefore, Ganondorf has been adored by many from a young age. Some even considered him sort of a prophet and because of this he developed a very strong desire for power. Omnics were nothing more than a tool for Ganondorf. And so with the help of his followers, he secretly took control of all Omnic fact a Reese, also known as Omnic Rums and tried to take over the world this way. So it was actually Ganondorf who was behind the Omnic Crisis. As you guys know, after 10 years, humanity barely won with the help of the goddess Hylia. Unfortunately, Ganondorf heard of Zelda's plan to obtain and use an all-powerful relic called the Triforce hidden in the Temple of Anubis and reached it first. Standing before the Triforce, Ganondorf turned around and killed his following to make sure that he would be the one to take it. What he didn't know, however, is that if someone whose wisdom, courage, and power are not balanced touch us the Triforce, it will break into its three pieces. Ganondorf was, you know, uh, literally too OP for the Triforce, which is nothing unusual in Overwatch. And so he was left with the piece that represents power, while the piece of wisdom shows the wisest being they could find Zelda, and the piece of courage the most courage just one link. Zelda with Overwatch arrived at the temple and captured Ganondorf Ward as he stood alone and was unable to use the Triforce of Power. Ganondorf Ward stands alone. Alone. Overwatch. Uh, later, he was sent hands to death. Um, because he was considered to be too dangerous to be left alive, and the Triforce only leaves nobody willingly or upon death. Um, the sages of Nepal used their ancient sword imbued with powerful magic to execute Ganondorf, but at that moment, the Triforce of Power activated and he survived. With the Triforce piece activated, he gained incredible strength and near immortality. He freed himself from his shackles, pulled the sword out of his chest, killed the sage who attempted to execute him with it, and fled. Today, Ganondorf and Zelda are making plans to get each other's Triforce piece and to find the one with the third piece in order to complete the Triforce once again. So the story is going to get very interesting now that Ganondorf is in the mix. Now, what you're all wondering is, what are Ganondorf's abilities? First off, he's a tank, which means he, of course, has 600 health. Um, Ganondorf's primary weapon is the Sword of the Sages, which he uses as sort of like a wand casting projectiles that fly in an arc. Probably his most defining ability is called Pop Dead Deer, and what it does is it lets him take control of a dead teammate or enemy until that person respawns or Ganondorf or his Pop Dead dies. As Pop Dead, he starts with 50% health and he can use the abilities and everything from that hero as normal except for the ultimate ability. He instead charges his own by dealing damage or healing. This is not your time. 
We're really excited to see how you guys are going to play with this ability and how the game overall will be affected. So we look forward to what you have to, to say there. Should we be unable to balance? It, don't worry, we will jump in there and make changes. We already have an idea for an ability potentially replacing pop that tier where everything he does is basically better. So like Torbjorn's overload, the coolest part is he also instantly reloads and gets unlimited ammo and lower cooldowns. Now being a tank, Ganondorf also has a barrier shape. It's sort of like a big cylinder that he can place down on the ground, but this isn't just any regular barrier. It doesn't block enemy fire, but instead of enemy players, they can still move through it, but doing so slows them down significantly and deals damage as well. Um, the barrier is held up by six individual pillars that can be destroyed to remove the parts of the barrier connected to them. Pressing shift creates a row of three portals at a distance facing Ganondorf, and by pressing shift again on one of the portals, he can teleport to it, making the other two disappear. This unique movement ability allows him to get behind the enemy while also confusing them as they don't know which portal he will come out of and when, if at all, you can just place them as a distraction if you want. Next, um, let me describe Ganondorf's ultimate for a second. Um, when his ultimate's up, he transforms into the Dark Beast Ganon, gaining 1,000 health, and he can do a ramming attack um, and inflict heavy, heavy damage. Um, and lastly, there's his passive ability, which is the Triforce of Power. Uh, the way that it works in the game is it has a special mechanic where for every two damage Ganondorf receives one health will be converted to armor. If he doesn't take damage, it will slowly be converted back to regular health again. This way, the enemy team really has to focus him down or he will continue to grow stronger over time. Hey. Now, one of the things that we see you ask for the most is new game modes. So we're proud to introduce a never before seen game mode called Shuffle. Shuffle is a game mode consisting of two separate objectives and the first map to feature it will be the brand new map, Kakariko Village. The first objective is to safely escort a car to the sacred spring. When that is done, a capture point at the end of the graveyard behind Kakariko Village becomes available and the attacking team has to capture it while the defending team defends it. Our thought regarding defenders spawns on assault maps like Horizon Lunar Colony and Hyrule Castle Town was that we put their spawn right next to the point so that they could shoot the point from inside of their spawn to stop never-ending stalls. Uh, well, things have changed. Our new philosophy is... ...and never-ending stalls by forcing the defenders to crouch through one single small tunnel to get from their spawn to the point. This way, the attackers can focus their fire on the tunnel and prevent the defenders from touching the point after one one fight. Um, that's everything I have for today's developer update. You can find Ganondorf's detailed stats in the description. It was really exciting to explore how Ganondorf's backstory adds to the Overwatch storyline, even though it took us a long time to finalize his abilities. Initially, the idea of Pop That Deer was to control living enemies, which was an interesting concept, but it just didn't feel fair for the controlled players. We also spent a lot of time coming up with new properties we could give to a barrier to make it something different and fun. 
As always, we're really looking forward to feedback as all this stuff makes its way to the PTR. We're reading everything on social media. We're reading our, our forums. We love hearing from you, but do better. Don't say anything negative about what's on the PTR or even protest on the streets and sign of petition. Because if you do, you're anti-democratic and propagate legal value up on the interwebs. We are the ones to tell you what's right or wrong. Thank you so much for playing the game and have a nice March 32nd.